Hello everyone, here we are at NTAP Campus Care Ed Talks and uh, we'll be speaking to Miss. Hi, I am Mrs. Shabana Arora uh, from uh, Dharadai Techno School, Ghazibad. Excellent. So ma'am, I wanted to know what are the technological advancements that you've seen over the decade, especially when it comes to Indian education sector? See, uh, right now our children are born with technology. So it is inbuilt in them. So basically when it comes to technology, everything if as per the child's need, you cater with the education. It meets the challenges of the youth which is coming up. At the same time, your education is also becoming interested. So if you go about argumented learning and you go about the smart classes, which is the old concept now. Now there is the concept of AI. Completely when you're transforming AI into education, your artificial intelligence. So the intelligence of our child multiplies. So ma'am, what are some 24th century skills that you feel are imperative for our students? 24th century skills, so first of all, you need to understand your child well. Skills can only develop when you understand your child. So for that 24th century skill, you need to, you know, create a curiosity amongst your children. So always I believe there are five three strategy. Create a curiosity. Then you should have a connection amongst the child. You need to have that confidence. Right? Then only they can. And when there is a consolidation going again and again every time, when you are repeating it is with AI. So automatically children are understanding it in the form of virtual reality. That makes a difference in education. So ma'am, um, how important do you feel a school ERP system is for, a, for an academic institution? Uh, I can, I can, I didn't get this. Uh, Ma'am, what do you think, how important is a school ERP system and mobile apps, uh, you know, how important they are for running a school? See, coming to the parents these days, it is the uh, world which is running on a big pace. So we need to catch the parents' need as well as the child's need. So without mobile, even you can't even sleep. So if we need to tap the parent and touch the child at the same time, so we need to go with this ERP modules and with the, uh, this complete online system. Ma'am, what do you feel? How important is to have the entire school on your mobile phone? Is it too intrusive or does it actually uh, benefit the educators and the school as well? I believe that it actually benefits educator. Being a school principal, I'm not only worried about my own child. I need to be worried about my complete strength, whether, whether it is 2000 and all. So I cannot tap one to one. But when the system is there on my mobile, so right now if also if you could see, I can tap my children what they are doing at what time. So sitting in my office, I can see what children are doing. If I find them in a single thing which is going out of the control, apart from the teacher, we have a good control on that. So at the same time, it is also helping us in the parent form. When the parents are coming up right days, you see that everything is so challenging. Then when the parents come, they have their own queries. They expect everything from the school, which is the right thing. So to meet their expectation, we should also have some credentials. And human memory is not that fast. So for that credentials, we need all such. One final question. What is your message uh, for the educators? A message that you'd like to share with our educators and with the parents? To educators, I'll say, understand your student as your own child rather than just considering him or her as a student that is hardly i think uh, that's the challenge which we find and for that you need to connect with your child so go to the classes more often basically principal don't teach but we in the system at narayana schools we always believe that we should evolve along with our children that is for the educator for the parent i request parents to build a confidence rather than sympathy if I feel that they are over pampering their children which is resulting that parents decision are changing as per the child's need so I want parents to understand the child and they to inbuilt their confidence rather than put a sympathy in that okay, okay this is not happening in school okay I'll go and talk so you need to bring those because he's not going to he's not limited to one school to one class to one section he or she is a global student so let them fly rather than pampering. <laughs> well said, ma'am. Thank you for sharing your wonderful perspective with us. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Thank you.